G'day guys, we're doing light painting today. We're taking photos like this one here. We're doing it with the iPhone. Do you want to know how to do it? Hang around, we'll get into it straight after this. So, for light painting, what are we going to need? We're going to need a phone. You're going to need a phone holder that goes onto the tripod. You need a tripod because these photos can take as long as you want to take it. They could be a minute long, 30 seconds long, 15 seconds long, 30 minutes long. It can be as long as you want it to be. You're going to need a phone, you're going to need some paper, you're going to need an elastic band, and you're going to need an app. I've used a few different apps for light painting. I'll put a link up the top here with the reviews that I've done with those. Um, what we're using tonight though is the Slow Shutter app. It's a cheap app and it can do some pretty spectacular things for this sort of photography. All right, let's get into it. When it comes to the torch that you're going to use, I basically use this, uh, it's a lead lenser torch, so it's a pretty powerful torch. Depending on how powerful the torch is that you've got, um, the more paper you'll need to put around the top. Basically what this paper is doing is diffusing the light. So um, as, you're, as you can see there, there's not too much light coming out. If I take that paper off, it's a pretty bloody bright light. So put as much paper as you need on there to diffuse the light, and you'll see when you do the first bit of light painting, if it's too bright, put more paper onto it. All right, let's go, go through the app. So let's set up the app. We open up the app, slow shutter. You've got three modes there that you can use. You've got motion blur, light trail, and low light. What we're using tonight is the light trail. It's the same sort of uh, app that you, or same part of the app that you will use to do the light painting if you want to capture tail lights, traffic at nighttime, that sort of thing. We'll do that later in another video. So we'll leave it on light trails. If it's not on there, put it on there. When it comes to the light sensitivity, we want to leave it on full. Always put it to full. With the shutter speed, we want to leave it to bold. What bold means is that when you put that, when you press the shutter, it will take a photo as long as it takes until you push that shutter again. All right, so important to remember. It's not a, you don't need to rush through this light painting. And down the bottom there is the ISO, and we're gonna put that to 40, and we'll leave it there. If you haven't got the timer set up there, uh, hit the three, but, three uh, hamburger sort of menu up the top there, and you've got self timer there. Put it to five seconds if you think you're gonna be a bit slower getting out behind, from behind your tripod to where you're going to do the light painting. Put it to 10 seconds. I find five seconds is just fine. It gives you an audible beep and it'll let you know when you're taking the photo so you can start doing the light painting. All right, got my torch with the paper, got the app, ready to go. Let's go and make some patterns. Hit the shutter, it's counting down. I can hear the beeping. And because we're on bulb, we can go for as long as we want to take. Let's start with a bit of a circle. A couple of dots there. A little bit of line. Just make a smiley face, I think. And now I'll go and have a look and we'll see what. Here we go. That's a pretty ordinary looking face. Kind of looks a bit. No, it doesn't. Let's see if we can do something over here. Add something to the photo a bit. <clears throat> so all I need to do is be mindful of where I just stood, and over this side here. Oh my Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that'll do. I'll hit the stop button now, and I'll save that. Now, that probably doesn't look all that great. Um, but what we're going to do is go into photos. Um, the last photo that's there. There's the photo that we just took. We're going to edit that photo. This is within the, the photos app. So hit edit. Down the bottom here, you've got the rotate and the cropping tool. Hit that. Up the top now, we've got the flip tool. So hit that once flips it around, hit the done. Good day. All right, let's have a look at some other photos that we've done. So that's basically light painting. You can use anything. You can use the torch that we said before. You can certainly use any sort of kids toys and stuff and, and put them in around, around your wording and that. And you can do some pretty cool funky things. All right guys, that's it for today. I'll uh, see you on Monday. Catch ya.